Hey guys, this is Kate, and I wanted to show you how to transform this chipboard using the embossing powder. So this first part of the video is like a really close up of doing it, and then in a minute I'm going to pan back out and um, record like a step by step. But it's really fun to take this raw chipboard that comes in the kit, and you get a whole package of it, or I believe it's in one of the add-on kits. Um, and you can totally customize it to your project. So I just did some really quick cards. I took some of the cardstock that comes in the kit, the craft, and this aqua color. And then that's one of the print shop journaling cards and a circle hole punch. And then some of the thickers. And I just created this card literally took like three minutes. It was so quick. And then here's another one that I did. I just took my scrap paper and punched out a whole bunch of shapes using my favorite punches. And then um used that little pennant shape that I embossed before and my glue gun and created this card which was really fast and easy too. Sorry it's a little I'm filming I'm trying to film on my iPhone here and it doesn't really work out for me but it does do like extreme close-ups. The only thing is is that that gold changes the color balance but I'm gonna um show you here in a second I'm gonna um film over on my other desk and uh you can see things a lot better but I just wanted to show the kind of the process here real quick um, of how that comes together. And if you see those strings from the glue gun, once they dry, you can literally just pick them right off. It's super easy, but I really like using the glue gun because it gives things such dimension without having to cut up like little tiny pop dots for everything. So I'm going to flip the card back around here and add some thickers. Um, and I just add the word hello because I just think it's a nice, um, easy card to have ready to go when you need to, um, send out a package or something and put a card in it or just take a card to a friend. Okay, so here is a better angle and a close-up of those two cards. And then here are the card bases that I cut and the chipboard, the embossing powder, the stamps, everything that I use. So I just basically place the raw chipboard face down onto a Versamark ink pad. You can use any kind of embossing sticky pad to do this. And then I just um, dump the rest of the embossing powder back into the bottle. You can see how quickly that changes it actually embosses really quickly on chipboard for some reason so I'm just kind of getting this card ready ran out of of course you always run out of adhesive when you're filming right so I'm just I actually cut that one a little bit too big so, somehow I'm not sure but I'm just kind of playing with some scraps and different things and figuring out um, how I want this card to look and I end up doing making it really simple I love my big circle punch I think it's two inch punch and I feel like it's a great size on a card front. And I just add a little bow and some hearts to this one. And I'll come back to that at the end of the video and put it all together. But I'm just setting it aside because you want to make sure that that embossing powder dries really well or else, I mean dries, cools down. So here I'm doing another one. And this time I'm embossing in white first. And I'm going to um, heat set that. And then I'm going to go back with the polka dot stamp from the Amy Tangerine stamp set and do some gold circles on this. Now, the only thing here is that I did not let it dry enough. So the embossing powder stuck, even though I used that powder thing, it was still a little bit too warm. So I would suggest sitting this aside for probably 10 to 15 minutes and letting it really cool down before trying to emboss over it. I was just kind of in a hurry, but as you can, I mean, it still turn, I still like the way it turns out. It's just not as precise as it would be if I let it dry more. So you can see there it has all kinds of polka dots on it. It's really cute. And then I'm just going to assemble a really quick card. I'm going to use some of that, um, those the Amy Tangerine chipboard that I peeled the backing off of just so I could store it that way. Add a little bit of washi tape to the top and bottom. I'm going to glue down this little leaf thing, which is really cute. I didn't think I'd actually use that, but it turned out really cute on this card. And then I'm just taking the um, extra part of the pop dots that's around the circles and using that to pop this um, piece of chipboard up there. And then I'm going to put a doily behind it, just cut part of a doily, the top off of a doily and stick that behind there just for a place to put the letters. And then I'm going to use this awesome Maggie Holmes um, gold set of thickers that I love. And now I'm just going to assemble this card really quickly, super fast. Add a little bit of washi tape and it's done. So I literally made four cards in about 20 minutes, which is awesome because 
usually takes me a long time. I left that one blank, but you could add any sort of thickers. I think these thickers would be really cute on it. And then you could do some like black faux stitching around the edge or something. That would be really fun. And here's that polka dot one. You could also, those thickers I just showed you that are chipboard, you can emboss on any chipboard thickers. I would not recommend embossing on foam because they melt. But chipboard thickers, you can totally alter. So here are the four cards that I created really quickly. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you're enjoying this series of videos using the December Hip Kit Club kits. So I'll see you guys really soon. I hope you have a great holiday and that you're having a lot of fun this December. Talk to you later. Bye.